Planner of Office 365 Overview. This is essentially a task management tool that allows you to tie in supporting components such as files and other items that you might need to properly execute a series of tasks and then recall the collateral related to those tasks. So let's take a look. The first view that you have is the Planner Hub. You can watch another vignette on this to see the details of Planner Hub. You can look at My Tasks, also detailed clearly in a separate vignette, but as you can see, it shows you the not started, in progress, what's been completed. It can show you all sorts of cool things. They're easy to complete also by just clicking this green button. Up in the upper right hand corner, you can see your task by either progress or by plan, which is also very convenient. Default is progress. You have your favorite plans, those items that have been pinned to your favorites. And you can make any plan a favorite at any time. You don't have to you know, only stick with a few. You can just simply hit add to favorites. Uh, the nice thing about favorites is you can kind of shuffle them around. So let's say there are projects that you're, are most important to you, although you may have 15 in here, but the ones you're really focused on this week, just pin to your favorites. So when you go to your planner hub, Shazam, you see the things that are most important for you for that current week. That might become your new process. I don't know. You see your favorites? By the fact, uh, by default, it's unfolded. And your plans, by default, are folded up, so you have to click the little, the little triangle here. Each of these, by clicking, gets you into the actual tasks uh, that are due. And when you come into the tasks, you can see this, this is for diversified. And these are things that we're working on. You can see you can do a lot of different things shows the tasks. These are buckets across the top. You can move tasks between buckets. You can move members' names onto tasks. I mean, this is really easy to use. It shows you which are in progress. See that little uh, blue circle there? And you can also tag them as high, medium, or you can tag them as whatever you want. I happen to have high, medium, low. Uh, as my indicators here so I can see immediately that these are the most important these purple or whatever color that is and the next most important and the least important and so you can help manage your things visually there's a series of tools that you can use across the top and visualize things in different ways uh, this is a nice view it shows a chart and who things have been assigned to and then over here you can group these by who they've been assigned to you can you can do them by due date or by buckets or by the progress. I mean, of course, it brings over the, the uh, tags. So this is really where you manage tasks. You can go into a notebook, which are in uh, content or micro collaboration. They start with sections, and then within each section, it has different notes. And so you can see different planning items and, and things, and of course, you can click on any one of these topics to read more about them or add content. It's pretty cool. Uh, you, can, you also have a calendar to show your events and you can drag events. You might have to log back in because it's opening, it's actually opening Outlook if you hadn't opened it before. And, and I can see that, that in here I'm showing because I belong to two plans, DTS and, and this Kinder plan. I can come right down here and see that there are different events. Let me go to a week view so you can see it a little better. I can see that there are different events on different days. And you can see that they're represented in different colors. So you see there's an equipment installation. You can also, this is a regular calendar. You can take this invite from here and invite other people to it if you want. You can even add different calendars. Pretty cool. Now when you get here, you get a little orphaned, so you have to go back. I can also see files, and within files, I've got it like any file server, I suppose. Um, you can do writes on the files. You can switch between your different groups that you have information on between these files. Here I come down to the Kinder Morgan one, and I can click down in there and see the documents and the, and the file structure that's been preset. And then within these, there might be subfolders. But hey, 
you're probably not going to do it that way. You're just simply going to search from up here and look for what you're, what you're searching for, right? So if I wanted to search for nickels, it's going to pull that up, or I could see more results, and it's now going to search. Of course, you guys don't have that much stuff in here, but it would search across everything to find the word nickels. That's yeah, pretty cool. Also, I happen to have um, members. And within members on this overview, it shows you the people who are associated to these particular plans. And you can add members to it. You can take it away. You can take them away. You can, you can make them uh, an owner or not. I mean, you can do all sorts of things in here. And you see, of course, you can get back to anywhere you were previously. I'm using the tabs. And then finally, this section here, you can edit a plan if you have the rights to do so. Uh, so I have edit plan here, but if I came to this Kinder Morgan and showed you, I don't have edit plan because I don't have the rights to do that. You can unsubscribe if you want. You can remove it from the favorites, and you can leave the plan altogether, which means you're no longer a member. That's okay. Subscriptions, I send you emails whenever people update, so you might not like that. Instead, you might just want to travel there, so that unsubscribe function would be pretty handy. But overall, that's how the planner works. It's a really clever, um, fully integrated task tool. That's all.